Hello everybody and welcome back to connect to tech If you're still running Windows 7, you might have seen this message pop up on your PC. Unfortunately, Microsoft are ending security support for Windows 7 soon. The good news is that despite Microsoft's insistence that the free upgrade path to Windows 10 was closed in 2016, you can still use it and upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10 for free. This is using an entirely legitimate tool on the Microsoft website, which I'll now show you how to use. First, you need to go to the link in the description which will take you to this page, then download the media creation tool. Run the setup file and navigate through the setup as shown here. If you're upgrading the PC you're using, choose the top option, or you can create an installation media to use on another machine. I've sped up the setup process because these stages tend to take quite a while, you might want to leave it running, especially in the sections where it says checking for updates. Next you're asked to choose what to keep. These are quite self-explanatory. If you want to do a straight up upgrade of the operating system and leave everything else untouched, go for the first one. The other options are useful if you want to remove all your programs or your files and your programs to give you a fresh start with Windows 10. If you're not sure which one's right for you, the safest option is the first one. Once you've chosen, the main installation will start. This will probably take a while, so go and make a cup of tea or something. It will also restart a few times, this is a normal part of the installation. Eventually, you will arrive at the Windows 10 setup screen. You have to navigate a few options based on your personal preferences for your PC, then you'll arrive at your new desktop. If you chose the top option, it should look exactly the same except Windows 10, not Windows 7. As you can see, Windows 10 is now installed and activated. This will be using your original Windows 7 license that came with your computer or from when you installed Windows 7 initially. This license is now migrated to Windows 10. If you log in with a Microsoft account, the license will then be associated with that account instead of a product key. So there you have it, Windows 7 to Windows 10 for free, no need to spend £120 on a new license like they want you to believe. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this useful, feel free to comment if you have any problems and see you in the next video.